Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to a brand new campaign on the Old Realms. Let's enter the Old World and find out that death is only the beginning. We are going to be playing as a Von Karstein. Now, I'm going to very quickly point this out immediately. Yes, I'm aware other people are doing stuff like this. Yes, I, I'm aware that there are probably big people doing this as well. I don't care. I have had a little test of the mod and I have found that the Von Karsteins are the ones I would like to enjoy. Mostly because they get to do evil magic and I like evil magic. So we're going to be going to the Vampire Counts straight away. So the Vampire Counts are fiends without equal. They seek to topple the civilizations of the living and supplement them with the undead empire. Each vampire is a unique and majestic figure with his own personality, drive and ambition. In contrast, the minions are mindlessly obedient. Rank after rank of ragged and dirt-encrusted cadavers forced back to life by the master's necromantic powers. Now, we don't really need to do much, so I'm just going to give myself a beard. And then, you know, give myself a deep voice, make myself pretty tall, give myself a pretty big build. We don't need to do much to our cat. You know, we'll give them a scar for good measure. We'll give them that scar for good measure. Next. <clears throat> so... We are exiled nobility. Ambition is the downfall of many and your family fell out of grace with their elector. Banished to Sylvania with a meager fortune, your family was forced to live amongst the peasant folk. I was a necromancer's apprentice. Little could be said of your master's sanity. His days were dedicated to dissecting scrolls and performing dark rituals. Obsessed with becoming powerful yet unable to, he sought to use your abilities to bolster his own. And the next thing is, my Stein profession is, well, let's see, is indeed vampiric nobility. At some point, your lord recognized your qualities, lifting you out of poverty and revealing his true nature. After receiving the blood kiss, you were reborn, immortal, and more powerful. Gains the ability to learn spells and raise dead post-battle or in graveyards. Prompts to pick up your bloodline will occur at the start of the game. I'm going to go Banner Lord, and I'm just going to leave all the settings as they are. I don't know if this is how they're meant to be. I, I can't change death in combat. Um, so I'm just going to leave these as is. We'll just play on uh, Banner Lord. Now, what logo would befit such a mighty man such as ourself? Uh, well, I'm going to go with, I think, a red. Uh, I'm going to go for like a red with a probably a white logo for a change. It's been a while since I've been red. Um, so let's see. We're in the Empire, so let's have a two-headed eagle. I like this one more. Perfect. And we are going to be... Ooh. We're going to be... We're going to be the Carr family. And we are going to be... Magnus Carr. <clears throat> the great no exiled noble and we of course are going to be a von karstein um okay there's only a few okay we can give ourselves one beard and some hair but let's let's not waste our time doing that so here we are in sylvania now i have loaded all the shaders so nothing should be problematic um, all the mods I'm using are will be linked down below, and I've just realized we need to go to Castle Drakenhof. That is, needs to be our first, uh... There we go. So we can level ourselves up. I'm gonna level myself up straight into spellcasting and get novice spellcasting. Ah, I need to press confirm before I go into career. And career, we have one career point, so let's increase our take of new blood. We have mist form due to our, uh, current... Thing, which is interesting. I don't know how to use it. Uh, we'll see. Uh, oh, I have another. Oh, uh, did I not? Oh, okay. Uh, and we'll get well built as well. There we go. Now let's go to the graveyard and get eight hours worth of undead. Uh, let's defend. Wait, we're in Sylvania. Why would they care?
Oh, I don't have the Winds of Magic. Okay, no Winds of Magic. Then I guess we're just going to attempt to stab people. How dare you stop me from raising the dead? Is this not Sylvania? Ridiculous. Take those little guys prisoners. And we're going to... Now, the good thing I've noticed is all of our guys are free. So I'm going to immediately upgrade uh, something to Skeletal Swordsman and something to Spearman. Because, well, it's free real estate. Now, our character, um, Magnus, is going to be a very... Oh, for fuck's sake, I can't actually go in anymore. Okay, that's annoying. Um... We have to pay off a few bills. Uh, so Magnus is very much a a man who does not like, or is very much just a man who is a bit of how to say it. He's a very self-absorbed man, and he was so focused on wanting to be what he is that he essentially. We will try Wait, what the fuck? Oh, for fuck's sake! Why can I not sit? Why am I suddenly unable to sit in villages? Oh, fuck off. That is... Okay, we're getting screwed a little bit here. Okay, so we're going to need to... Oh, look, some Von Karstein Nobles. They are very expensive. But essentially, yes. What I'm what I'm just getting at is we are um, essentially... Um, we essentially very much care about our appear outward appearance. And, you know, we are very... Kind of up our own rear to say like a to like a better word. So I can't go to Waldendorf either. So I'm gonna have to go to. Oh. Okay, so I'm a little bit worried now about um, our uh, progress. We may have a few issues. Oh yeah, we actually have to feed people. Crap. Um, a couple bits of grain, I guess. Ooh. Perfect. We can make some money there. <laughs> Hello, traveler. All right, fight me if you dare, then. <clears throat> oh my. King God. What the? F oh, no way. I just realized I misread that. No, I misread that. No, I'm an idiot. Um. Wait, do you hate me still? Another fool in this our domain. Uh, we are. Yeah, this is not how I envisioned this campaign starting. Hey, what are we what the fuck is everyone? Why is there so many fucking? Another. Right, you know what, guys? Uh, where was? Did we have like a quick save or anything? Because we're gonna load that. I'm gonna save scum very quickly. I apologize for this, guys, but I uh, I'm feeling pretty attacked right now. Like, I feel like we're getting cheated a little bit. Yeah. So okay, we've been brought back to Castle Drakenhof. Okay, so that's acceptable. So we know that we can't sit in villages anymore because we get attacked. So we need to be, we need to move decisively. It's all well and good, but we need to, okay, we need to get up to here. This is a perfect place to go. If we go here, we can go and sit and get, we can try and get some stuff from the graveyard here. See, now we have a full army. Uh, get out. I have to pay for you. I don't want to pay. Right, so let's sell off that. Wait, what am I selling? Wait, 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 what am I selling? Oh, I'm selling this different. Do we need food? Technically, yes, we do. Okay, so we'll buy two cheese. So, okay, so the campaign now... Right, so that's my one save scum we're going to have in the entire campaign. Now, we have a decent amount of troops. We can actually do something. Oh, a traveling merchant. While journeying along the dusty roads, a unique sight unfolds before your eyes. A colourful caravan, a mobile and poor room amidst the quiet landscape. As you draw near, a travelling merchant approaches. With a welcoming smile, he introduces you to tales of distant realms and beckons you to take a close look at his wares. Sure. Let's have a look at all this stuff I can't afford. A Bretonian shield, a vampire... Oh, two different vampire shields. So we've got the Blood Knights. And then you've got the uh, Cast Iron Shield. that. Fucking hell. Fancy. Yes. 
let's reset that. Let's not do anything stupid. Oh, you do sell grain, so I'll buy all of your grain. Just, you know, it's nice and cheap. Right, uh, you conclude your exploration of the merchant's arrays of treasures, and with a respectful bow of his head, he extends his appreciation for your interest and choices. Right, so we need we need to pick... Okay, Chaos Another Cultists. Another fool! Apparently, the Chaos Cultists think they can beat us. Let us change that. But as I was saying, yes, essentially we are... Um, yeah. Our character is very much a uh, someone who's just going to be a bit of a snob in every sense, I guess. Also, we're it's night, it's daytime, which is the reason we only get half health. There's one cult is down. Uh, I don't think we've got enough magic to craft another time, but we'll try. Actually, no, we won't. Yeah, being on horseback without a spear is a bit of a pain, but there we go. Now, there is one ability I want to try. Okay, yeah. Up. Okay, we were caught on a horse, but can I try that again? How long do I have to wait to try it again? Okay, I can't try it again. Uh, we lost 14 men, that's fine. Uh, we've got two back. Uh, we've got 13 cultists as treasure, and we can now... Well, first things first, let's do tier this up, and... You go in, and we've got a skeleton guard. And then we've got a bunch of money. Okay. But like I said, I apologize for that one save scum. I, that was not really within my we power. Will your... Okay, this uh, the Ungors would like to be beset upon me. Your let's uh, try and throw... So both of my spells cost four, so let's be careful. them and you there so that their uh, archers are immediately beset upon by my men i would like to get a spear that is something i would like yeah i don't have any oh my god they actually decked my men we may lose that's an unfortunate scenario that we may lose yeah, this this mod definitely is a lot harder than i was expecting it to be But we won! Yay! Take all of those. Take all of the Okay, let's uh, kick all the prisoners out. Right, so let's now find ourselves somewhere nice to sit, uh, I guess. Ooh, Masterwork Old Spear. We'll take that. Uh, and a large round shield. Of course, the rest we will, of course, take, but we're just not going to be using. That is better than what we were wearing. Perfect. We we're making slow but sh steady progress. Uh, how long is this 21 food going to last for? Because we're literally... Oh, yeah. 295 days. You know what? Here's some money. Leave me alone. All right. Okay. So we're going to sell that. So I'm not going to be doing that often, but like, you know... How have I never been caught when I was doing my test games and now I'm, all I'm doing is getting caught? I'll wait for a better offer. Honestly, guys, this is going very poorly. My apologies. Uh, we now have got two extra fingers. We can increase our pie size by 25 and we've now increased our health generation after battles by five. So we can now have how many troops? Well, I can't tell because I'm currently in prison. This is not going well. But remember, death is only the beginning. We have time on our side, probably. No, not good enough. I'm losing no money a day. I don't care. I will wait. Fine. Right, and now I can't go in here. Oh, I have... Uh, let's see if we can recruit some Empire troops. What do the Empire recruits go down to? So they go down to... Sergeants and stuff. You know, we don't want those. I'm, sorry, I'm joking. We do, we do not. Uh, is there like... I know there's a certain type of building, but I don't think they... Ah, there it is. Hunger Woods is over there. Right, we need to go over there. Right. I don't know why there are so many enemies on the map. 
Uh, let's do this. Successfully bound 10 spirits to my command. Oh, we have some spirit hosts, which turn into really cool hell wraiths. Oh my god, that's great. Got some enslaved warriors, which come become cursed countrymen. A cur no, cur sorry, cursed companymen. Our crypt guard will soon become grave guard, and then grave guard, um, grave guardians. I mean, realistically, we're not doing too bad. It's just we're getting very unlucky in certain things. So there's a regiment of renown here, is there? Ah, I need to at least be clantiff free. And I've just read I have prisoners still. Well, that's great. Because I have criminal uh, everywhere. That's Sterland. What, what what countries do we have? So there's Sterland. Who are you? You're part of the moot. Uh, this is Avaland. Um, Nolan is... Uh, what, uh, sorry, the Wizenland is currently at war with Reichland. Okay, we've got... There's a lot to do. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm honestly quite impressed by how big the map is. Um, but my uh, goal right now is to secure us a footing. Probably going to need to buy some forces to get anywhere. Would you not want to fight an Ongol warband? Nope. That's 22 Empire Deserves. Ah, yeah. Go on then. I'm sure we can fight these without any issue. It is unfortunately daytime, which is a bit... Oh, okay, this spear is a lot shorter than I thought it would be. Oh, I need to raise the dead. Hit. Well, I just gotta hope our men win now. And they did. Yeah, I'm getting very unlucky. I keep getting my ass handed to me. I've got to stop fighting in the day. That's that's my uh, that's what I've learned. Stop fighting in the day, Joe. Not uh, it's not your it's not to your advantage. I, I merely want to get hex wraiths. They're amazing. A lot of money we just spent. Ooh, a metal shield. Yes, please. Take the ornate metal shield. Why not? Uh, do you have any better spears? Do your bollocks. Okay, we will keep food just for now, but uh. Yeah, we'll be fine. Uh, you know, slowly but surely, we'll figure this out, and I won't, you know, have as many issues. But this is our first part. We're just getting there. We're slowly but surely figuring out. I've leveled up numerous times. Uh, I'm going to put points into discipline so we can level up spells. Press that. And we have got... We can now immune to sunlight and malice. Finally. The Hanged Man. You come across a tree with a free men hanging from it with a sword stuck in the ground beneath them. As you get closer, you can see that the world traitors is etched into the tree and that the sword has been used to mark a grave. What will your party do with the hanging bodies? I'll raise the hanging bodies of skeleton, obviously. You attempt to resurrect the corpse of skeleton uh, and fails. What will your party do with the hanging bodies? I'll do nothing. Actually, we'll loot the hanging bodies. You cut down the bodies and loot the corpses, taking the tattered rags they were executed in. Having decided what to do with the hanging bodies, you turn your attention to the grave marked by the sword. What will I do? I'm going to dig up the grave. You dig up the grave and find a warrior buried in some armor. You can see the armor is damaged, most likely from the traitors. What will I do? I will loot the buried body. You loot through the body of all the armor and it is, this is intact. What will you do? I will take the sword. Take the sword in your hands. What will I do? I will leave. Having made my decisions, I'm on my way. So let's have a look what we got. Male mittens. And we've got infantryman garb. Look at that. We're already now much better off than we were. I even got a helmet for my dumbass. That's just... Got an iron arm in sword. Um, not really. I mean, it's technically is actually better than what I'm equipped with. So Because it's got a little bit more reach, which is good for cavalry. Right. There's a bunch of un, un war bands, man. They're everywhere. I want to try and get to the wood hunger woods again. See if we can uh, get ourselves some more. Yes, we can. I bound 12 spirits to my command. 16 more spirit hearts. We're going to get some crypt wraiths and eventually some more hell wraiths. But good. We needed that. 
Right. What's the criminal? What's my criminal rating within uh, Sylvania? 25 still. What the I do want to know, do how much do you cost? Do you pay upkeep? I have to pay upkeep for you. Okay. You know what? We'll keep one of them, but I don't really want them. I'd like to try and go back into Sylvania or Castle Drakenhof, but, uh, well. It doesn't appear that, uh, oh, let's go to Hellfen. Yes. Get even more wraiths. Um, have we got the ability to... No, we have not. Ability is 20% less. Flying speed increased. I don't know where we're going up here or up there, but we'll figure it out. Yeah, we're not even clapped renowned one yet, but we'll get there. Yes, I'm, I'm being very careful about who I fight, simply for the fact of, well... We need to be careful because it seems like uh, my luck is not very good. All right, so if I can, if I buy, say, your that and that, what does that take us? It does help a little bit. So buying those horses given a little bit of extra speed, which is what we need. Good. Let's go hunt these cultists down then. Cultists, come! Ah, uh, god damn it! These beastmen are everywhere. Buggers. Trying. Uh, oh, oh! That sound is the sound of a a, lay, uh, a hideout being found. Okay. That's a lot of ungor. Let's not let's not fight that many ungor. Okay. 36. I mean, I guess we could. We will trouble your p Apparently, they just genuinely will not give you the time of day. Cool. I don't know if that actually does any damage, but I'm hoping it does. I have some undead. Okay, we seem to have got. We seem to be reaching our stride now. There we go. We figured it out. All it took was a, a bunch of fucking up and just hiring a legitimate metric ton of uh, wraiths, I guess, because we don't have to pay wraiths, which is really nice. Now they are expensive to level up. That's the only downside. But we don't really need to level, the, level them up right now. I mean, I'm pretty happy with how they are. Ooh, one six. Wait, that's that's got a length of 100. Yep, 167 length. Every every day of the week. Every day of the week. Okay, so ungod herds are not too bad if we're um the right. Like if, we're, if we do it the right way, when we we have a ch we we have a chance. I think the Empire Deserters are probably more problematic, but they might have better loot. I don't... Okay, we've got to be very careful. There's so many fucking Deserters. I'm also going away from Castle Drakenhof, which is the opposite of what I wanted to do. And we found a Deserter hideout. Lovely. You know, give me that Ungol Warband. We will... Uh, some Empire Deserters got caught in the... Got caught in it, but that's fine. Let's tell our men to charge for now. I'm getting to level. Let's uh, summon some... Uh, summon some less than... Uh, oh, you know. Hey, these spearmen know what they're doing. I do love the wraiths, though. The wraiths look so damn cool. And there you so yes, I, the goal of this campaign is basically to just bring the uh, a vampiric nightmare to everywhere. That's our goal. Uh, it's whether or not they, you know, depending on what you guys want as well, we may change some of the like goals, but that's pretty much my main goal at the moment.
There we go. Shield it on go down. What did we we lost 21, but I really don't care. They're just skeletons. Yeah, I'd love to go somewhere to get rid of these prisoners, but yeah, there doesn't seem to be anywhere. Oh look! A von Karstein knight. Oh my god, they look cool. Note to sell. That's armor I can potentially get. I really fucking want it. Let's try and go to Castle Drakenhof and see if we're uh, allowed in yet. Yay! We're allowed in. Okay, which means I can now keep we'll keep keep some food. So all of that. Do you have? I care about necromancer. Well, I mean, I'm not gonna lie. Those necromancer shoulders are pretty cool. What do they do? Yeah, that's so cool. What they? I, I get. Uh, it costs eight grand. You know. The thing is, I'm not a necromancer. I'm a vampire, so I should really be buying vampire stuff. Probably also focus on buying horses as well. We'll buy up to 40 horses. That will be enough to get us where we need to go. Give us the speed we'll need as well. There's a vampire shield, a grave guard shield. That's so cool. I mean, to be honest, though, I think I would probably go for something more. Maybe? No, I'd go for that one. Yeah, we're going to go for that one. We're going to buy it. I mean, I don't know if it's... Actually, that's not... I've just realized that's not better than what I just sold. Yes, give me my ornate shield back. That's actually better. All right, five grand in our pocket. Um... Yeah, I don't know if I dare risk looting there anymore. It didn't seem to go well. Uh, we have got this Jacob the Dark Magister. See if we can learn from spell some spells from him. Uh, he's seeing further knowledge. Okay, he's got some spells. Okay, what do we want to learn? Okay, so we can't learn any necromantic spells just yet because they're quite expensive. Expensive. Uh, the dark magic is unfamiliar lore, but we could learn some minor magic. You know what? I think I'm actually I think I'm actually kind of happy right now of actually what we've got. I don't know what scrolls do, but I'm, oh, they're XP. I'm just gonna look at that beautiful shrine right there. I love it. Absolutely love it. Right. Go hunt some more. We're just armless. We're just armless deserters. I'm an undead. So, realistically, you fucked dive away, bro. Magic missile! You know what? I decided you should have some uh, skeletons while I was here. Get rid of these Empire Toad Lack, Empire X Empire Lackies. I really want a skeletal horse, though. Or, sorry, yeah, like a. I, I want like a hex rape sword. Uh, source, uh, yes, I'd like a hex rape, um, you know, layout for my loadout for myself, like a scythe and a, you know, stuff like that. It just looks cool. I'll take all those skeletons. I'll take those prisoners that I. Right, still need to get rid of my prisoners. Do that. I mean, I can just quite literally go straight back to Drakenhof. It's not going to be a problem. I mean, the only problem is the Ungol Warband. We will. Which we're going to very quickly deal with. I mean, they think they can best us, but they cannot. End of level. I don't know why my spear and my shield isn't automatically out. It's a bit weird. I'm assuming there's a reason. There's like probably something to do with the mod, but yeah, I've... Spear isn't always out, which is a little weird. 
course, these uh, Ungor beastmen have learned their lesson, I believe. Yeah, I really don't know how to use the spells. I, I think I need to get. I think I need to read some stuff about them to make sure I'm using them right. Perfect. The fact that we can have so many men already makes me so happy. Draconhof Templar. Uh, we can only have that many. Fine with me. Yes, yeah, so we're going to get. The good thing is because we're only using. Uh, well, we're only using like spirit units. Just the initial upkeep, and then other than that, we're golden. I did not mean to take a walk around the city, but you know what? Fuck it. I want to see what this place looks like. Very interesting. I mean, I would love to hire you, but uh, I'm good. Right now, can't really afford it. Yeah, I'm not going to go for the next amount of robes. I'm definitely going to go for the... Uh, what's it called? The, um, I think I'm going to go for the vampire armor, definitely. Um, yeah, I'm going to keep the food for now. Just just for the sake of, you never know. My goal now is to quickly find our way to Wald Waldendorf. Is it what it's called? Yeah, Waldenhof. The reason I want to go to Waldenhof is so we can try and get ourselves, if they have uh, the uh, any vampiric army. Oh, a fair in the woods. Uh, as your army travels, the sudden clearing reveals a surprising sight. A bustling fair known as the Mosleb revelry. Tents stand proud, colors dancing in the dappled sunlight. Laughter mingles with the snort of horses, the hearts of joyous gathering. Merchant beckon, merchants beckon, their eyes alive with mischief, hawking horses at a discount from the standard rates you'd find in the store scrolls. The air carries the tempting scent of roasted meat, of frothy ale, and tangy wine. And Mr. Merry Crowd, farmer grins, offering a turnip that oddly re resembles their famed twin tail comet. Yours for a mere penny, a chance to possess. Curious Marvel. Um, I'm just going to continue through the woods. As the fair merriments fade, you step back into the embrace of the wilderness, leaving the laughter of the fair's revelry behind. Good, because I hate people. And yay! We're officially done being a new blood. But unfortunately, we cannot get any higher. Oh, wait. Wait, you can. we could take these out? Why would I take them out? That seems perfect. Um... Right, so selfish or well controlled? Well, selfish definitely, you know, fits the character I'm trying to play a little bit more. Get nimble steed. I've got one last one. Um, don't really need to put it in. I'm gonna put it into steward just for this. I want to see how big I can make my army. Like that's kind of like it's like that thing of like, oh, how big can we make this? Um, and no, there's only necromancer stuff here as well. Now, this is going to be a one-off long part, as it's my first part of the series. Uh, but after this, obviously, they will, unfortunately, as much as I'd like to do long parts, they will, unfortunately, go back to being shorter parts again. I just paid five grand to upgrade my troops. All right, I need to go get, I need to go kill me some ongors or something. You know, all of you there. We will. You guys are going to be... You guys are going to fall upon my blades. Uh, but yes, uh, we're going to make this a, probably a 40, 45 minute part uh, because it's, it's, it's the first one in the series, so I don't need to worry about the upload times. But after this, of course, we will go back to the normal half an hour. So hopefully you guys enjoy or will enjoy. Give you guys some stuff to fight. Beautiful. Okay, so we, we did hit apparently. Uh, they've got a nice big, uh, like, blob right there. I can't rise, I say that. They all move. Dickheads. Yeah, okay, we're going to keep trying to level up our spell casting because we're going to be like. Uh, I, I want to try and be like Vlad one cast time. 
very heavy on the um, the magic and the fighting. There we go. Ongor's dealt with. Uh, sure, I'll take all these undead. Uh, 62 prisoners. Let's make sure we take the best of those. And, oh, good lot of loot right there. Absolutely beautiful. All right, we leveled up our athletics, even though I haven't been off my horse. Hey, right, so we need to be vampire required. Vampire required renown two. I'm assuming that's clan tier renown. Not too clear, but oh, you're moving slow, which means we will have something I want more than likely. So come here, you ugly beastman. Keep using our magic bolt to try and level it up. Raise the dead, so she, you know, mess the mess them up a little bit. I don't expect it to do much, but there we go. There's a level up. Perfect. See, everything's working out, guys. See, everything is working out beautifully. So an army full of spirits might legitimately be our best choice. They seem to be really powerful. Whether or not they're powerful against proper armies, though, is something we're gonna have to figure out. Bye bye, Ongors. All right, first things first, let's level these up. Um, fuck it, I'll go for them. Yep, a load of money uh, being wasted again. Love it. Shit, I was meant to take all of that. Oh, well. Uh, I leveled up again. Yay! Did I... I've got... I mean, I've got some more points to go put there, but that's not going to be able to do much. Put a point into you, because I intend to use you. Let's go back to Drakenhof. Slowly, things have become a little bit more... favorable for our lovely uh, band of men, merry men. You know what? Let's learn a spell. I've got the money. Um, Gaze of Nagash. Perfect. Let us go test our brand new spell on some... Uh, we will... Or Ungor. I do need to probably upgrade my horse. I just think I should probably also do as well. Mm. Yeah, I don't remember. I don't really think that hit very well, but. Not what I meant to do. Get on the fucking horse. Yeah, that was a bit of a mess up there from me. Magic, well, there's the gaze and the gash again. Yeah, Gazing the guy seems to be a lot faster than um, our other ability. Uh, of a magic missile, which is good. We need to get used to using it. But I'm sure we can do without too much issue. Uh, our army is doing us an absolute solid. We are just absolutely raising hell right now. Come on, be bold, Joe. Be bold. We will try. Well, I tried to be bold, but it didn't work. Oh, let's try and use the gaze and the gash properly now. I want to get a special horse so much. They look so damn cool. God damn, they look good.
Right, let's get back to using uh, normal weapons for now. I think I've uh, yeah, I'm out of uh, Winds of Magic. We need to be careful because Winds of Magic don't recuperate. I don't believe in battle. I, I mean, I wouldn't assume. I would assume they don't. Let's go on my beautiful wraiths and whatever skeletal forces I actually have left as well. Probably have a few. I, I don't really know. Ow! I'm so lucky I don't have any Winds of Magic. I've definitely got to use my spells sparingly later on. But early on, it doesn't really matter. But like later on, I need to start using my spells very sparingly, I think. That's what a smart person would do. And Magnus is, at the very least, intelligent. Uh, we lost some troops, so let's just... Uh, I'll take that guy and I'll take that guy. And of course, we will level up all of these people. Why not? Why the fuck not? Take all of your loot. We do need to get some saddle horses, actually, as well. So let's actually try and go into Empire territory. We will try. I need 16. Okay, I can use two Nagash spells. Perfect. Off you go, dickheads. I feel like this is the only method that really is, like, it just works. Just charge my men and we'll be sorted. My spellcraft does seem to be leveling up pretty well. And I've leveled up again. Beautiful. That was a pretty dastardly spell right there. I feel I felt bad about that one, I'll be honest. He says knowing full well he doesn't feel bad at all. Vampiric influence for the win. Remember, the death is only the beginning. Because after death, you serve me. Beautiful. Oh, I, I could have all of them. Lovely. That's what we like. Oh, a legendary. Oh, fuck yes. That's really strong. I like it. Everything's just going our way right now. Everything, like, everything went from being kicked in the, the kicked in the literal dick to being like, yeah, no, we've decided things are going to go your way now. Uh, I'm going to put another point into Discipline to help me level up my spell casting. Uh, but then I'm also going to put another point into there. Actually, no, 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 no. Make Scouting, make Discipline. Hmm, still need to get Renowned Tier 2. Uh, it, will, it will take us a time, but, uh... Well, it would appear we have time. Let's go to Mittenberg. As we as we find many different uh, hideouts. All right. Sell everything for 15 Maccas. Could buy ourselves some Empire equipment. Oh, a bright wizard robe, light wizard robe, bright wizard cape. No, not really for me. Thank you very much. For oh! Well, turns out I now have an undead horse, which is awesome. Um, let's also buy... We'll keep the saddle horse, because he's, you know, good for thing. Uh, we'll also get... Or you bad boys. Still making money, which is quite nice. Uh, we now have a... Drakenhof uh, Castellan, which is uh, the best armor, the best uh, troops they are. 
And unfortunately, we are at 45 minutes. Unfortunately, we're going to have to end this part here. I hope you guys have enjoyed the first episode of the Old Realms Let's Play. Uh, I do apologize about the one save scum. We will not be doing that in the future. But, well, unless obviously something game breaking happens and we have to. But either than, other than that, hopefully you've all enjoyed. If you guys did enjoy, please do follow me on YouTube. Leave a like, leave a comment, leave a share. Check the mods out. They are down below. And I'll see you all in the next one. See you guys then.